ஹலோ கிறிஸ்டான சேனல் மெம்பர்ஸ் வியூவர்ஸ் அண்ட் சப்ஸ்கிரைபர்ஸ் வெரி குட் டே டு எவ்ரிபடி ஸோ டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு ரிவ்யூ அபவுட் அ வெரி இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் ஜேர்னல் கால் சேபோல் ரிப்போர்ட் ஸோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு ஆக்சுவலி கிவ் அ வெரி ஜெனுவின் ரிவ்யூ அபவுட் திஸ் பர்டிகுலர் ஜேர்னல் ஐ வுட் ராதர் கால் திஸ் பர்டிகுலர் ஜேர்னல் டு பி வெரி இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் பிகாஸ் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு ஃபைண்ட் அவுட் விச் இஸ் தி ஆக்சுவல் ஆர் விச் இஸ் த ரியல் ஆர் ஆத்தென்டிக் வெப்சைட் ஆஃப் திஸ் பர்டிகுலர் ஜேர்னல் we can observe that this particular journal sebold report is currently indexed on scopus and even we can see some of the articles in 2022 as well in scopus.com so um i would rather say and i would confidently say that uh, this is the first channel to give a very bold review because you can even search in google or anywhere uh we have given a very exclusive review about uh, this particular journal so so the name of the journal is uh, sebold report okay so i'm uh, just typing this in the google okay so i i'm getting uh, various search results unlike the other journals i'm getting different websites of this journal okay so sebold report when i'm typing i'm getting seboldreport.org okay o r e s dot s u seboldreport.net seboldjournal.com okay even in the publons we have journal of sebold report and I, i i i should tell you that this sebold report is not currently in web of science but it is only in scopus but i really don't know why it is in scopus so i would uh, rather discuss about this one okay so we have different websites so everybody's question would be which is the real website okay so what i'm going to do uh, i'm just going to go for scopus.com uh, okay so i'm going to a uh, copy this uh, sebold report okay in this uh, scopus.com i would rather request you not to skip any part of this video because i would be giving you so much information about this particular journal the way i have researched with so definitely using this video you can uh, actually find out the publication time of this journal and of, and of course how much you have to pay to get published in this journal and uh, you can identify which is the real authentic and true website of this particular journal and whether you can actually pay uh, submit the research paper or review paper to this this particular journal in uh, scopus so let us not waste our time let us go straight to the review part so what you have to actually do is you have to go to uh, scopus.com and you have to go to the sources section okay so the sources section is where you can uh, actually uh, identify the name of the uh, journal correctly so you are going to go with the sources copy paste the title okay so you are you have two things okay like uh, you have two suggestions sebold report on publishing systems and sebold report okay so the r uh, name is sebold report so i'm just clicking on sebold report so when i'm clicking on sebold report i'm getting one search result this is the thing okay site score is 0.0 okay so this is the journal i'm talking about so scopus coverage years you can see 2005 2013 and from 2015 to present you can actually uh, verify this present okay whether your research articles in 2022 is uh, indexed or not okay so that we can easily check okay so the publisher is sebold publications issn 15339211 just remember this issn because we are going to search with this one so type is trade journal i am not getting to a conclusion about what type of research articles is actually published here because uh, many would come for uh, computer science or information technology or civil or mechanical or maybe economics as well but what is trade okay so whether they will publish our research articles it's a big question mark okay so there are two things you have to identify one thing this uh, particular scopus page doesn't have the home page so if it doesn't have the home page we cannot actually verify but you can cross check also okay so the scopus content coverage you can see there are 2022 11 documents are there okay earlier case we had a home page we can actually click on it okay so let us go into these 11 documents and identify whether uh, any uh, information uh, we are getting about the source or maybe the publisher website but uh, for our inconvenience uh, we are not getting any 
uh, website any domain about the publisher okay no author name you are getting okay even if you uh, browse through 2021 also you are not getting any author name okay so that is a very interesting thing okay i, I really don't know how it is actually indexed in scopus and even the title okay the title uh, it is there but no author name okay let me go into the title name okay so when i go through the title okay several times it is uh, refreshing okay um only the title or maybe the the paper title is being displayed no information about the author is given okay also you can export in whatever format okay only this gets exported and full text option nothing is being displayed only the issn is being displayed okay so with this one we cannot actually come to a conclusion about the domain or which is the real or authentic website okay right so even if you try to uh, search the sable uh, report in this uh, uh, sci imago jr.com i'm once again trying to search uh, this particular journal sable report when i'm searching for this particular journal i'm getting two things sable report and sable report on publishing systems uh, not to confuse that uh, when you check in scopus.com it shows formerly known as sable report and publishing system so you need not have to worry about both are the same okay so you can click on sable report and the way you have observed is h index is one publisher is sable publication even if you click on this one it will go again to that same page okay so i'm not clicking on this one i can see the issn 15339211 okay so uh if you can go through this one it shows uh, it is in q3 for media technology and q4 for marketing okay below you can see there are plenty of comments plenty plenty of comments about this particular journal because they have discussed about like five websites okay and five of them have collected charges okay and the interesting one is there is one uh, particular uh, uh, website okay stablejournal.com okay I'm going to show you sablejournal.com. So this is the particular website which has actually charged uh, 2,500 uh, Indian rupees. Okay, back in 2019. So now it has been closed. It is currently not active. Okay, so you need not have to uh, uh, think about this uh, uh, website. Okay, so it is currently not active. Okay, so without wasting much time, we are going to go through five different websites of the same journal. Okay, sounds interesting, na? So first we are going to go to saveworldreport.org. So they have mentioned everything about the journal, about the aim, about the scope even. Okay, so you can go through if you want to. And uh, this is the one which uh, which uh, actually grabbed my attention. So if you click on this caution, okay, which is displayed in red, you can see predatory journal alert. Okay, so you can see saveworldreport.net. Okay. Uh, calls itself from California, but IP address is in India, and uh, it has copied content from sableReport.org. Okay, so they have mentioned some things. Okay, uh, I read through everything. You can also read about it. It's not a cop. Uh, you cannot actually copy anything. It is displayed as an image. Okay, so they have uh, told about this particular thing. SableReport.net is actually copied from SableReport.org. Uh, okay, so. I'm going, you can go through the journal metrics, journal information even. Uh, this thing you can actually go through. When you're going for call for papers, okay, there are publication charges. You can see uh, $190 plus publication taxes. So this is the publication charge for this non-profit organization, the so-called non-profit organization, okay. And uh, you can, uh, if you can go through a sable report.net, okay, what they have done is they have identified sable report.org is a fake website okay so both of them are fighting okay uh, one by one okay so sable report.net is targeting sable report.org they have what they have said is if you go through the domain information it shows the journal started from 5 may 2022 so th this is not actually possible okay so this is what uh, they are trying to target sable report.org okay even if you go through the about section journal information, I can see similar information in both the websites. If I go through the call for papers, okay, uh, you can actually uh, see 
same thing publication charges 190 dollars plus taxes okay uh, if you go through uh, saveallreport.org the articles okay, you can see issues and list of issues as well okay um, there are a combination of uh, um, foreign articles and Indian articles but one thing uh, what I understood is I observed that uh, in all the foreign articles there are Indian authors as well so that is the only thing that uh, disturbed me okay so you cannot have uh, a combination of Indian foreign you can have of course there are several uh, articles which are there but there would be some articles which would be completely foreign which I cannot observe in this particular journal okay but as you can see the articles everything uh, you can see are open access so only uh, except for this thing others are okay with this journal and uh, if you go to sable uh, report.net okay that is also an interesting thing if you go to issues you can uh, see a list of issues as well okay uh, most of them i can see indian authors okay they have published research papers and uh, i'm trying to click on one particular article okay it shows the thing even if i click on this download uh, article okay you can see uh, uh, the uh, the research paper okay one thing that was striking is this doi okay this doi is updated from zenodo.org okay uh, the only concern I have is either this journal should provide DOI or it should say we don't have DOI. Not like we uh, they provide a DOI from Zenodo. Everybody knows that we can actually generate a DOI from Zenodo on our own. We can actually uh, generate DOI from Zenodo or maybe ResearchGate as well. So why they are providing uh, uh, DOI from Zenodo, I uh, really don't know about it. Okay, so this is the striking concern I have with uh, this uh, particular uh, uh, domain, saboldreport.net. Okay, so everywhere they have given the contact a session and uh, they have given the email ID as well. And the third one I'm going to, uh, I'm concerned is another one domain, it is ores.su. Okay, they have given uh, uh, a Russian version of this. Uh, 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 website okay they have given how to publish a scientific article even uh, they have given how to uh, actually uh, confirm that this uh, journal is actually in scopus or not okay so that we can actually check but still i'm not getting an information about whether this is the real uh, authentic website or not there is also another website uh, sableojournal.com uh, so if you go through this one it is actually currently not active okay so uh, so you cannot draw to a conclusion there is also another one website sablereport.com they have given the archives uh, uh, section as well march 2019 and after that there is only news okay so even if you go through the scopus.com uh, okay so uh, i i told you know in 2022 there have been 11 documents okay so if i click on this 11 documents if i observe through the titles okay all have been uh, you know trade titles okay i uh, i'm not getting any research uh, titles out of it if you go through the titles okay for example monotype uh, <coughs> studio introduces companies second japanese uh, typeface okay or maybe quad reports fourth uh, quarter okay uh, or maybe uh, new graphic arts design museum okay examining business technology um, i'm not coming to a conclusion that it is actually accepting research articles or why are they trying to uh, uh, publish these kind of articles okay if i try to copy paste uh, this particular uh, title in the google okay getting one search result that is actually a news okay monotype studio introduces for a sense so this doesn't really make sense and i really don't know what uh, scopus is doing with regards to this journal of course, I am leaving the decision to you whether to publish a research paper in this journal or not. And uh, as I told you uh, uh, earlier that uh, this uh, uh, journal is charging for foreign authors, it is charging around $450 to the maximum. And 
um, uh, for the Indian authors, they are charging around roughly 30,000 in Indian rupees for publication in this uh, journal. And roughly it takes around uh, uh, two months uh, to three months for public, uh, publishing in this particular journal. So you can decide uh, how long it will uh, stay in uh, Scopus. And I have given you five different websites, five different websites of this particular journal. And, and I'm not coming to a conclusion which is the real or authentic website of this particular journal. So I hope you would have enjoyed much out of this journal review. So you can share your experiences, you can share uh, your views before submitting a research paper to this journal and after publication of this uh, research paper in this uh, journal. You can of course ask me to review any journal I can review it, I can research it and I can tell you whether you can publish your research paper uh, or you should not publish your research paper in this journal, whether it may be Scopus or SCI, ISI, Web of Science, uh, SCIE or so on. So if you haven't subscribed this channel, please do support this channel, do like, share, subscribe this channel and of course you can press the join button also. Uh, you can enjoy much more services with our channel. As you know, my tagline, collaboration is everything. So let us meet with uh, another interesting topic in the forthcoming videos. Thank you.